Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for another episode of Oops, I Did It Again. Um, I'm Ken Key, uh, sometimes referred to as the Redneck Evangelist. Where it's not about me, it's not about you, but it's all about Him. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy these messages, that it's a blessing to you, and that God will use these messages to inspire you to do great things. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me once again for another episode of Oops, I Did It Again. Hi, I'm Ken Key, uh, referred to sometimes as the Redneck Evangelist. Uh, I got a message for you today. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's kind of hard for a lot of people to swallow in the day and time that we live in, but it, it comes straight from the Word. Uh, I encourage you to write down these scriptures, some of them I'm just going to briefly mention, and uh, check behind me. Uh, I always tell people, I say, don't trust a me, don't trust the pastor, uh, or anybody that tells you these things, that the reason pastors and people encourage you to bring your Bible to church um, if they are preaching the word uh, you need that bible to check behind them to make sure that they are telling you the gospel truth so today we're going to say um, what does the bible say about racism prejudice and discrimination said the first thing to understand is there is only one race the human race caucasians africans asians indians arabs and jews are not different uh races rather they're different ethnicities of the human race all human beings have the same physical characteristics with minor variations of course more importantly, all human beings are equally created in the image and likeness of God. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27. Uh, God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus to lay down his life for us. John 3.16 16. The world obviously includes all ethnic groups God does not show partiality or favoritism Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 Acts chapter 10 verse 34 Romans chapter 2 verse 11 Ephesians uh, chapter 6 um, verse 9 and neither should we James 2 and 4 uh, describes those who discriminate as judges with evil thoughts. Um, instead, we are to love our neighbors as ourselves. James chapter 2, verse 8. Um, in the Old Testament, God divided uh, humanity into two racial groups, Jews and Gentiles. Um, God's intent was for the Jews to be a kingdom of priests ministering to the Gentile nations. Instead, for the most part, um, the Jews became proud of their status and despised the Gentiles. Jesus Christ put an end to this, um, destroying the dividing wall of hostility, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. All forms of racism, prejudice, and discrimination are affronts to the work of Christ on the cross. Now, Jesus commands us to love one another as he loves us, John chapter 13, verse 34. 
If God is impartial and loves us with impartiality, then we need to love others with that same high standard. Jesus teaches in Matthew 25 that whatever we do to the least of his brothers, we do to him. If we treat a person with contempt, we are mistreating a person created in God's image. We are hurting somebody whom God loves and for whom Jesus died. Racism in varying forms and to various degrees has been a plague on humanity for thousands of years. Brothers and sisters of all ethnicities, this should not be. Victims of racism, prejudice, and discrimination need to forgive. Ephesians chapter 4 and 32 declares, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Racists may not deserve your forgiveness, but we deserve God's forgiveness far less. Yes, we deserve God's forgiveness far less. Those who practice racism, prejudice, and discrimination need to repent. Present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. Romans chapter 6 verse 13 and Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 may be completely realized. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all, listen to what I'm saying, for you all, you are all one in Christ Jesus. He shows no respect for persons. We're all equally created in the eyes of God and it's time that we take the word of God serious for its word and treat people with the respect that they deserve and with the respect that God expects you to have for his children. It doesn't matter if you're black or white or green or gray or red. No matter the color of your skin, no matter your background, no matter your religious beliefs, um, you know, there's uh, no difference between me, a Christian, and me, or him, whoever, a Jew, a Muslim, whoever they may be. God loves us all, and we are children of His. It doesn't matter what race or ethnicity we are, we all, at some point, came from the same blood, started out in the same place. We are, whether we like it or not, are born of God. That's right. Brothers and sisters, we are related. I am related to you no matter who you are. Sometimes it's hard to love everyone, you know, but we're commanded, commanded 
to love one another. It don't necessarily mean that we have to like one another or agree with one another, but we are supposed to love one another. I'd like to encourage everyone to check these verses, uh, get into the Word, uh, see and allow God to show you um, if you are guilty of racism and prejudice uh, and discrimination in any way, I pray that you ask God to help you with that. That he'll remove that from your life. That we can all learn to be one people, one mind, and have a mission. And that mission is to live and to work for God and do things that are pleasing and acceptable to Him. I'd like to thank you for joining me again. Um, you know, uh, sometimes my messages come a little closer together. Sometimes they're a little further apart. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, when I tell you something, it's because I love people. I want to help people. I'm not trying to force my beliefs on anyone else. You know, God gave us free will. We can choose to believe as we will. If anything, we can agree to disagree. That's one of the good things about freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and uh, those things in our country. You know, God gave us free will. It's up to us to choose what we want to do. If we want to do right, we can make a change in our life. If we want to do wrong, we can make a bad change in our life. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say uh, for this time. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, like I said, I'm Ken Key, uh, known to a lot of my friends as the Redneck Evangelist. I uh, hope you'll join me again soon. Uh, Y'all have a great day, and God bless each and every one.